Hi, I'm John. Okay. Um, what are you up to this week at Vice Oh yeah, as uh, I'm a volunteer, I've come in for the week, and that is. It was quite scary to be in with when I first came up on the because I came by myself on the train and then just turned up here and I was just thrown in at the deep end, told in told to go help with lunch and I just didn't know at all what I was doing, but you know I kind of built up, got used to it and I've kind of adapted. I don't know, <laughs> learn what to do. So. What what made you sort of decide to volunteer? Uh, well, if I'm honest, I want to do medicine at university, okay. and. I've heard about this from my cousin who did it and she said she loved it and she really enjoyed it so I thought you know I'd come and give it a try. Uh, okay so have you sort of, do you feel you've sort of eased into it a bit more in the few oh, yeah. days you've been Yeah here definitely. And... <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, starting to get, I'm starting to get to know the guests as well. well I'm good I think I'm pretty good friends with a couple of them already. Yeah building good relationships. Yeah definitely. I mean it's amazing already. What, what's your sort of Day to day role then, if you want to tell me sort of what your typical day would be. Uh, right, well, get up about 7.15, maybe have a shower, then at 7.45 we have to go up, come up to the lounge and then we're allocated each zone and within that zone we go and help the guests. I get up and most days I've been helping a man called Ralph and it's really, I like get his clothes out ready for him and make a cup of tea and after that I'll help him have breakfast. I'll make it like make some toast for him. Then, if it's a trip day, I'll get my guests ready for the trip after that, and we'll board onto the coach and then we'll go. When you when you first walked in, then sort of like say you got the train down, you were throwing a bit of the deep end. Yeah. What, were your, what were your first impressions then? Uh, it was quite daunting to be honest, because I saw saw these people who were in disabled chairs and I. I didn't know how I'd ever be able to talk to them or communicate with them, I didn't think I'd be able to. But now I've kind of realised I can, you, know, you get used to it. You don't really see them as disabled after a while. Okay. So you feel, once you get over the first initial yeah. sort of barrier... After a couple of days and you get used to it, it's fun. They're just like normal people. <laughs> so would you recommend Vitalised Volunteering? Then? So yeah, definitely. It's a great experience and I'm sure it'll make you look good whatever you want to do. <laughs>